cover. Yes! <gasps> oh my god, this is great! Oh, <laughs> that's cute! You know, this is a special edition. Action! Can you please tell us about the shoot this time and for the audience who doesn't know you very well and your work, um, perhaps tell them a little bit about the one minute sculpture and how it came about. Uh, it can be 10 seconds or two minutes, it doesn't matter. One minute is just a synonym for short and it's mostly a person and uh, an object involved, a daily life object, weird or interesting or strange position and situation. They are they are dealing with uh, notions of paradox or uh, the absurd. Yeah, they're very much about psychological issues and sometimes philosophical and sometimes social social things. So I bring these things together and we used people from Taiwan and props from here and mixed ideas and mixed things. So it's in a way it's an intercultural situation which I enjoyed very much and uh, yeah. Did you approach the photo shoot a little bit differently because it's partially for like Vogue because it's a fashion magazine? Did you approach some of the photos differently? Yeah, sure. You know, as soon as there is a fashion magazine involved or there are models involved or then you have to deal with designers and you have to deal with the makeup artists and the hair artists and all these people are all of a sudden there are many involved. So it's not so easy going and it's not so, it's not so, it's more complicated and takes more time and it's, uh, you have to convince more people to that they do what, what, what you want to do or let's say what I want to do. But, but basically, I've, I've realized many years ago that it's um, interesting to make these um, one-minute sculptures uh, for also with magazines. It's a, it's a public space, it's the new public space for art. And I like this very much. Thank you, Irvin. I think our one minute is up. This was relatively painless. Yeah, because I can't breathe in the bag anymore. Yes, and I and I've got I've I've got this voice, <laughs> this strange voice in the bag. I hurt myself. I was I sounded like my grandfather. <laughs> Tini, come to us. No, Yes. Ha. Cheshire. No. Now we can eat, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you.